I'd kill live music. That's why we're here today. On the steps of the Victorian Parliament House. What we have up here, multi-generational musicians going way back to the 20s. in print. This, this represents all the people that were here. We saw how massive it was and how, how much this actually means to the community. So I just think we've got to do what we can to make these people listen to us. Thanks for coming. So, if you'd like to come up here and accept these wads of petitions, you're going to do something, aren't you? Yes. I have very rarely, if ever, seen any violence at our live music venues. And we all know Music doesn't call what we call violence. Um, accept these petitions on behalf of music lovers around Victoria. I'll be equally over the far more. I'll be equally happy to present them in Parliament next week. And we need our, our small venues in Melbourne, in the regional centres. We need them for our musicians to go and play at so they can learn their craft and continue the fantastic tradition that Melbourne has as a live music incubator of Australia and the deep world. Licensed venues that have been unreasonably treated because they host live music were told six weeks ago to apply for changes to their licences. They were told that in six weeks some stuff would happen. Nothing has happened in six weeks. No. Nothing. 